Hello everyone, my name is Karan Masru. Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to look at the solution of the problem that is largest number formed from an array. First of all, let us start by understanding the question. What does question say? Given an array of strings ARR of length and representing non-negative integers, arrange them in a manner such that after concatenating them in order, it results in the largest possible number. Since the result may be very large, return it as a string. So basically we are given an array of strings in which there are multiple strings, there are n strings in the array and each string represents a non-negative integer. Now we can uh, swap the numbers, as, uh, arrange these strings in any order, in any permutation and we want to do it in such a way that after rearranging the strings, once we concatenate all the n strings, the uh, number formed by concatenating the strings is as large as possible, okay? And since this number can be very large, we need to return it in the form of string only, okay? So we will look at the explanation later on. So I'm just skipping the examples. You don't need to read input or print anything. Your task is to complete the function print largest, which takes the array of strings as a parameter and returns a string denoting the answer. The expected time complexity is n log n and expected auxiliary space is n. So now if you think about solving this problem, then let us take this example and understand what is asked in the question in a better way. So basically we are given this array of strings in which each strings denote a non-negative integer. We need to rearrange the strings in such a way that after we concatenate all the strings, the final number formed is as large as possible. So let me take two examples. First of all, if, suppose I rearrange these strings, then one of the permutations can be 30. And let's say after that we have 5 and after that let's say we have 34 then let's say we have 9 and then let's say with number is left 3. Okay, so this is one permutation. So with the help of this permutation, if I concatenate all the strings, then the number formed is 3053493. Another example could be suppose, uh, let me take 30. Uh, 34 okay and then let me take 9 then let me take 5 then let me take 3 and then let me take 30 okay so if i concatenate all the strings it becomes 3 4 9 5 3 3 0 so clearly this number is bigger than this number are you getting my point so depending upon the permutations the number formed will be different so we want to uh, find the permutation in such a way that the concatenated number formed is as large as possible and we need to return this concatenated number. Now, one thing is, see, whenever we are comparing two numbers, whichever, which one is bigger, there are two things. One is the number of digits in the number. If they are different, then the number having more number of digits is obviously bigger. For example, let's say one number is 1000 0, 0, 0, and another number is 999. Even though here all of them are 9 and here 3 of them are 0 and only 1 is 1. But since the number of digits here is 4 and the number of digits here is 3. Since the number of digits here is more so this number is greater than this number. But when the number of digits in two numbers are same, in that case, how can we say which number is bigger? So we start moving from most significant digit to the least significant digit of the number. And whenever there is a mismatch, for that mismatch, whichever number has the bigger digit, that number is bigger. For example, let's say my number is 1, 2, 3, 9, 0, 0, 0. And another is 1, 2, 3, uh, 2, 9, 9, 9. Here the number of digits are same. So when I move from left to right, the first point where the two digits are different, whichever has the bigger digit is the bigger number. So this number is bigger irrespective of what the values are here. Are you getting my point? So this number is bigger. So what am I trying to say is here after rearranging the strings, when I uh, concatenate them, the number of digits will always be same. So what I need to take care of is that in the initial phase after concatenating the number of digits are same. So in the most significant digit or the numbers which are on the left side should be as large as possible. In that way I want to concatenate them. So how can I do that? So let us take a simple example with the help of two numbers and then you'll understand it. For example, let me take two numbers from here. One is 9 and another is 34. There will be two possible concatenations. One will be 934 and another will be 349. Number of digits are same only, but this number is bigger. Are you getting my point? So basically, uh, if 9 comes before 34 and if I concatenate, this number is bigger than 349. So what I can basically do is I can short this array of strings based upon this condition of concatenation. 
For example, when we are using a shorting algorithm and we want to short in ascending order, how do we short? If A is less than B, but if A is at a bigger index, we bring it to a lower index because if A is less than B, it should come before B. Are you getting my point? So I will short all the strings and the conditions would be, let's say I have two strings A and B from this array of strings and I want to decide which will come before which. So if A plus B is greater than B plus A, then A will come before B in the string. Otherwise, B will come before the string. Okay, so in this case, A will come before B. And if A plus B is less than B plus A, then in this case, B will come before A. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is, let's say this is A, this is B. Now, A plus B is what? Uh, here, these are strings. So, plus means concatenation. So, A plus B is 934 is greater than 349. This is true. So, A must come before B. So, I will put 9 first and then 34. So, when I concatenate, I get 934. But let's say my strings were 3, 4 and 5, 3. So, A plus B is 3, 4, 5, 3 and uh, B plus A is 5, 3, 3, 4. So, this is greater than this. Are you getting my point? So if this is greater than this, then B must come before A, okay, uh, in the shorting order. So basically now what I can do is, I can simply pass this area of strings in a short function, short all the strings which uh, from A to A plus N, and I will pass my comparator function, okay. This is a uh, user-defined comparator function. And what will be the user-defined comparator function? It would be something like this. It returns true or false, okay. And the comparator function takes uh, two values. One is a string A and another is a string B. Okay. So basically what it does is it will short this array of strings. And for each two strings, whenever it is comparing which must come before which, it will use this comparator. So string A must come before B if A plus B is greater than B plus A. So this comparator function, if it returns true, it means A must be before B in my shorted order. And if it returns false, then A must be after B in the shorted order. So what I can return here, return A plus B is greater than B plus A. So what will happen here is it will compare A plus B with B plus A. And if A plus B is greater than B plus A, then it will return true. If it returns true in the shorted order, A will be before B. Otherwise, B will be before A. So if I pass this array into my comparator function, what I will get is I will get I will get 9 first, then I will get 5, then I will get uh, uh, 34, then I will get 3, and then at the end I will get 30. So after shorting, I'll concatenate all the strings and return the answer. So my answer would be 9534330. This would be in string format and this would be my answer. Okay. Now let's look at its actual implementation. So if we look at the actual implementation, so this is the comparator function, static comparator, string A and string B. It returns A plus B is greater than B plus A. So it returns true when this is greater than this, otherwise false. So I have shorted the array of strings pass using this user defined comparator function. Then I have taken an empty answer string and added all the strings to my answer and finally return the answer. What would be the time complexity? Since we are shorting n elements, the time complexity will be n log n. I know it must also be multiplied with the length of the string, but since your number, the value in the strings can go maximum up to 10 key power 18. So the maximum length of the string can be 18 and the array length is 10 key power 5. So we can neglect 18 with respect to 10 key power 5. Hence the time complexity would be n log n. And in my answer, I will store all the n strings. So my expected auxiliary space is big of n. Now let's submit it. Okay, so we have solved this question successfully. I hope you have understood this solution completely. Thank you.